G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden with Nature Does The Work video podcast episode number three. Now today we're talking about the difference between earthworms and compost worms. Now I'm not going to get too deep into all the different species and all that different types of stuff because there's literally thousands. We, I think we've got one of the biggest worms in the world in Victoria and Australia. I think it grows like a meter or something like that. It's absolutely mental. But what I want to talk about when nature does the work, are worms. Worms are just absolutely amazing what they do. Not only do they build and dig through the soil profile, but they also at the same time produce fertilizer and they move the biology and the fungi and different things around, the microbes and stuff. They're actually microbe machines and inside their gut, when it passes through two guts, picks up microbes in the gut where there's little bits of grit stored and things like that and then stores it in the casting. They drop the casting and spread that biology, that microbes around. Now, earthworms, what's the difference? Well, they're burrowers. They go up and down, right? They go up and down, burrow, burrow, go sideways, this way, up, but they come up and they grab food and they take it back down. So bits of carbon, bits of whatever they're eating, then they deposit their casting, which is that food, that nutrient, that biology, down in the soil profile. So they're little soil builders and they're absolutely phenomenal. And the outside of their skin also carries microbes and good bacteria. And when it's raining and things and it's touching stuff, it's dropping that off on the sides. It's actually leaving little bits of sort of nutrient behind and things. When it hits water, it's dispelling it on the side. It's, they're, they're absolutely amazing. They're more, look, they are one of the most undervalued, underestimated creatures on this planet in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box down below about that. So, the earthworm. It's a vertical feeding worm, up and down, creating burrows, bringing carbon back down, grabbing material, and building our soil profiles. And when they build these burrows, not only are they creating other spaces for other little creatures and things to move around through and things like that, things that maybe it's a bit of fungi will use that space to move through, go through, the water will penetrate through, oxygen moves down through it as well, giving the plant's roots more oxygen. When plant's roots have got more oxygen, they can feed better. And also when there's a burrow, a plant may follow along that area there and save its energy. So many things are these earthworms doing? Now, compost worms, they're a little bit different. They feed in similar ways, they deposit castings in similar ways, same ways, they spread biology around same ways, but on the surface. Now, some of them, like the night crawlers, do actually go down and burrow a bit and come up and down a bit, and others like tigers, reds, and things like that, more surface, a little bit they go down as well. And so they burrow a little bit, but nowhere near as much. They're surface feeders and they love to be around humans. Without us, basically, there's no compost worms because they follow us around and our waste and things like that. So when we've got farms, we've got cattle, you've got horses and things like that. And you've got, you know, like um, sort of landscaping yards, you'll find them in those places. You'll find them in places like Marty's garden, out in my worm farms, in my gardens and all that type of stuff. Now. As they're moving along the surface, they're eating the bacteria off the side of the foods and then depositing their casting. So same thing, it's going through their system, it's hitting the microbes that are stored in the gut and then passed out through into a casting. Now the little casting has a little membrane around the outside of it. It's like a little layer and that sort of expands and shrinks, expands and shrinks as with the weather. So when it's drier, it gets smaller, and as soon as it gets wet again, it expands out, and it slowly becomes a slow-release nutrient fertilizer, releasing biology and releasing nutrients back into the system. And so these last for around about six months. So the compost worm, he feeds along the surface. The earthworm goes up and down, and if we remember that, and then we look at how nature works together, to feed our garden and we take care, we take care of them because we're caretakers of the land and everything around us. Our plants will flourish, our grounds will flourish, 
our lands will flourish and our health will flourish because we're getting better food coming out through the garden. Now, if you're digging these podcasts, this is number three, let me know in the comments box down below. I'm trying to pass on information to you that is very hard to film, but I believe is beneficial to you to learn how to take and become custodians of your place and grow more food, more healthy, great food. All right, that's it for me for now. Have a great day, everything, and I'll see you at the next video podcast, live show, whichever one we do next. Nah, just kidding. Plenty more cool content coming on the way in a variety of formats. Love to see you at the next one. Have a great everything. Bye for now. Why did I say great everything? That's not right.